Standards Inspectorate Service, Quality Management System under ISO 9001-2015, Quality Management System, bid number 24-032-06, Bravo, with an ABC of 500,000 pesos. Do we have prospective bidders present online? Can we turn on the big projector dito po sa room na kasara yata? Meanwhile, uh, do we have prospective bidders for this project online? Can we ask that you identify yourself and the company you are representing? Uh, from DSI, can you please identify yourself po? Well, good morning from BSI of the Philippines. Representing for Mrs. Zika Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. If there's no one else present online and on site, can we now proceed to the presentation of uh, the bid document, sir? Opo. Uh, we're just pulling up the presentation right now. Um, good morning, everyone. Again, good morning, everyone. Um, we are uh, from the Safety and Quality Management Office. We are now to present the uh, um, invitation to bid for the procurement of the quality management system under ISO 9015. Anong pangalan mo? Sir, ah, Russell Buenaceda po from SQM mo, sir. MIS, could you please check? Um, yeah, there it is. 
Um, good morning again, sir. So, this is the um, procurement of certification services for CAAP FSIS under uh, quality management system under the ISO 9000 2015 quality management system. Bid number 24-032-06 Bravo. So, the item description, uh, total of ABC is 500,000 pesos. Um, for the uh, uh, invitation of bid, uh, receipt of bid be July 8, uh, 2024 at 9.30 a.m. MIS, uh, could you please check the connection of our presenter? Um, he has been scrolling his screen, but the one that is showed on or shared on the screen, uh, we are broadcasting, is not updated. We will just go uh, through the provisions, uh, key points of the invitation to bid, uh, sir. And uh, maybe we'll just let the internet connection just catch up if it can. Happy, sir. Thank you. Okay, continuing, uh, I'll be uh, helping out our colleague to present the um, key points of this invitation to bid. So our interested bidders may obtain further information from the box secretariat through email. And um, the complete set of bidding documents can now be purchased uh, starting June 14, 2024 until the deadline of submission of bids. And the amount of the bidding document is 560 pesos, which is already inclusive of 12% VAT. The procuring entity shall allow the bidder to present its proof of payment for the fees, presenting the official receipt in person or through email. Uh, the bidding document may also be downloaded free of charge uh, from the website of PILJAPS and CAP website, provided that bidders shall pay the applicable fee for purchase of bidding documents not later than the submission of their bids. And uh, and the bids must be duly received by Kaap Back Secretariat. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, thank you, Attorney Frank. By the way, um, before we continue our presentation, may we confirm from those people attending online if they are hearing our audio from our end? Please do use your microphone, please. Yes, Paul. Uh, that's good. Thank you very much, ma'am. All right, so um, at number seven, so bids must be duly received by the Kaap Back Secretariat at the back office and um, on or before July 8, 2024 at 9.30 a.m. All bids must be accompanied by a bid security in any of the acceptable forms and in the amount stated in ITB Clause 18. Late bids shall not be accepted. The bid opening shall be, of course, as mentioned earlier, July 8, 2024 at 9.30 a.m., uh, live stream via Google Meet. And for authorized representatives who choose to attend the online meeting, uh, they may do so, and uh, they may also opt to attend in person. Uh, for further information, please refer to 
uh, Engineer Leandro R. Barquez, the head of the Black Secretariat. And the contact information, uh, since uh, this bidding document is published in the website, can also be found uh, on, on that document. We'll now proceed with the presentation of the BDS. Now, uh, corresponding ITB clause 5.3 for the purpose of the contract similar to the project, the ISO 9001 2015 certification audit of another government and or private organization where the corresponding certificate was issued for the purpose. And then the project must be completed within three years prior to the deadline of submission and receipt of bids. For ITB Clause 12, the price of the goods shall be quoted DDP to Kaap Central Office, Kaap Compound Mia Road, Corner Ninoy Aquino Avenue, and uh, or the applicable income terms for this project. For ITB Clause 14.1, the bid security shall be in the form of a bid securing declaration or any of the uh, uh, acceptable forms and amounts, in the amount of not less than 10,000 pesos which is equivalent to 2% of the ABC. If the bid security is in cash, cashiers, or manager's check, bank draft guarantee, or irrevocable letter of credit, or in the amount of not less than 25,000 pesos, which is equivalent to 5% of the ABC if bid security is in surety bond. The project will be awarded as one lot, and uh, under 20, clause 20.2, compliance to all existing laws and regulations is required, of course. For the special conditions of the contract, under the delivery and documents, so the delivery terms applicable to the contract are DDP delivered to CAP Central Office, Mia Road, uh, in accordance with INCO terms, as uh, mentioned earlier, and the delivery terms applicable to this contract uh, will be, uh, sorry, for the purpose of this clause, the procuring entity's representative at the project site is CAP FSIS Quality Management Team, headed by Attorney Frank Edward Marty, the QMS representative for CAP Central Office. All right, I guess uh, then for special conditions of the contract and under clause 2.2, the terms of payment will be as, uh, will be based on three phases. The first payment will be after the completion of stage two audit or certification audit. And then the second payment will be after the first surveillance audit and then uh, the third payment is at the second surveillance audit. All the outputs of those phases requires the submission of audit report and or certificate or attestation. And by the way, the amount of uh, payment that will be due for the first payment is 50% of the total contract. Then the second payment is 25% of the total contract and the remaining 25% on the third payment. These Next, on the schedule of requirements, um, the uh, re requirement specified in this bidding document is that uh, it should be delivered in 36 months upon receipt of notice to proceed. So, Sir Russell will be presenting the uh, or uh, discussing the terms of reference for this project. Thank you for that, Sir Nauric. Um, for the terms of preference, um, the scope of work will be, uh, number one, uh, the certification body should have been uh, certification audits 
Under certification audits, it will be the conduct and reporting of stage 1 audit. Letter B, conduct and reporting of stage 2 audit. Letter C, issuance of audit report and audit findings. Letter D, acceptance of the report of correction and corrective actions. Letter E, award of the ISO 9001 2015 certificate. Number two, for the surveillance audits, we have two items. Uh, first is the uh, first annual surveillance audit, and the second one will be the second annual surveillance audit. So the stage one audit is intended to review on-site and overall readiness of the ISO 9001 2015 QMS of CAAP FSIS to proceed to the stage two audits. Stage 2 audit is intended to review the effective implementation and compliance of CAP, FSIS, ISO 9001-2015, QMS with the end view of confirming its overall effective, effectiveness to achieve its objectives. The surveillance audit is intended to review the continued maintenance of CAP, FSIS, ISO 9001-2015, QMS and achieve its objectives. For the... Uh, uh, activity uh, output and timeline. The stage one audit is uh, um, it's basically in the uh, uh, terms of preference. So we have here the uh, uh, table for the activities. I will not be um, uh, I will not be discussing all the key points of this uh, table and We'll proceed to the next one. So for the schedule of audit sampling, the audit activity has uh, five key points. The certification audit stage one has a mandate of two, uh, uh, two days. Certification audit of stage two is six days. Uh, first surveillance audit is six days. And second surveillance audit is six days. And a total of 20, 20 mandates for this project. For the personal complement of uh, FSIS as of May 6, 2024, uh, we have uh, 124 permanent positions, 13 co-term, and 30, 36 contract service, and 50 LSERB employees, a total of 223. So for the implementing arrangement, uh, uh, this, is, this will be the responsibilities of the certificate. Uh, certi certifying body. So letter A, prior to the execution of activities related to these terms of reference, the CB's representative shall present the mechanics and, and rules of certification process to CAP QMS team leader with the presence of the overall FSIS QMT. The CB's representative shall coordinate all audit activities with the QMS Secretariat for confirmation of audit schedules including any changes on audit methodology or dates or any delay in the activities related to CAP FSIS RSO 9001 2015 certification. The representatives from the CB shall coordinate the mutually agreed with CAP FSIS QMS Secretariat regarding any changes on the date of the schedule of the audit or any delay of the activities related to the ISO certification. Letter C, the CB shall appoint the audit team to conduct the audit of FSIS a CAAP FSIS QMS based on the list recommended CB auditors with curriculum vitae, professional profiles, and duly accepted by the CAAP FSIS in accordance with the qualifications criteria for the CB auditors. The CB, through the designated representative or audit team leader, shall provide CAAP FSIS QMS Secretariat a proposed audit plan or itinerary at least 10 working days before the audit to enable the proper coordination with the concerned departments division and section and their respective personnel and allow the concerned office to plan for any travel, travel and accommodation where appropriate. Letter E, the CB through its designated representatives or audit team leader shall submit a written audit report not more than 10 working days after the completion of an audit as reckoning for any action required from CAP FSIS such as submission of corrective action as appropriate. Letter F, the CB, through its designated representative or audit team leader, shall provide written confirmation of the acceptance of corrective actions and or attestations for the completion of the audit. And last but not least, the CB shall issue its billing statement of account addressed to the overall CAAP QMS team leader immediately after the completion of the conduct of the audit 
with either an audit report, confirmation letter, or attestation as a supporting document. So we will not be discussing the uh, uh, sorry, uh, respond. I will be discussing the responsibilities of the CAP FSIS. The CAP FSIS through the CAP FSIS QMS Secretariat under the supervision of the CAP FSIS QMT shall closely coordinate with the CB through its designated representative for the conduct of audits and other certification related activities such as audit travel and logistics. The CAP FSIS QMS Secretariat shall coordinate with the respective department, division, and section heads, as well as the process owners and staff for any scheduled audits of the CB and subsequent needed corrective actions to be submitted, if any. The CAP FSIS QMS Secretariat shall coordinate with the CB for any audit or post-audit communications, such as concerning the audit report and attestation. The CAP FSIS QMS Secretariat shall initiate immediately the processing of payment upon receipt of the billing statement or statement of account and supporting document from the CB. Now we'll be uh, discussing the duration of the engagement. The uh, services of the CB will be engaged in three years. The project is expected to commence in 2024 and will end in 2026. The conduct of all audits, stage one and stage two, and the surveillance audits will take place upon the mutual agreement of parties with explicit confirmation of CAP FSIS to CAP FSIS QMS Secretariat. Surveillance audits after the certification will be done for two consecutive years based on the date of the stage two audit. The engagement of the CV will end in accordance with, uh, with the signed contract. So for the special qualifications, uh, the certi certifying body must comply to provide the procuring entity the following information and or supporting documents. The certifying body must have an applicable experience of good track record, at least 10 years of auditing experience, and must provide the following. Letter A, company profile highlighting a minimum of 10 related government certification projects for ISO 9001 2015 quality management system, including at least one central office of a national agency. Letter B, a complete and clear scope and implementation certification methodology. Letter C, curricul curriculum vitae of the proposed certification audit team with the experience of at least five years, including the auditing of public administration or government service under ISO 9001 2015 with at least five government agencies. Letter D, uh, it should, the CB should have a valid PILGEPS Platinum Registration Certificate. Number two, the certifying body shall have an active accreditation with the Department of Trade and Industry, Philippine Accreditation Bureau with PNS ISO slash IEC uh, 17021 2018 to provide quality management system certification under services of ISO 9001-2015 QMS. Furthermore, the certifying body shall have a SEC registered office in the Philippines. So as discussed earlier, the approved budget for the contract of ABC is 500,000 pesos, inclusive of all applicable government taxes, charges, and fees. Again, for the terms of payment, uh, it has a three phases. First payment after the completion of stage two audit or certification audit. Second payment will be first uh, after the first surveillance audit and the third payment will be after the second surveillance audit. Um, that's all, uh, your chair. Thank you. John, sir. If this is realized, ilang buwan bago ma-accomplish lahat yan? Uh, more or less, ilang? Uh, do you mean the audit, sir? Yes. Uh, um, basically, sir, for the many hours that we have, uh, it's, uh, I think, uh, two weeks, sir. One to two weeks, depending on the scope of the project. 
Hanggang doon sa payment ng 25% na last, is that two weeks? Ah, uh, sir, three years, sir. Three years. Three years? Yes, sir. For the whole project po. Uh, sir, if I may clarify the response of our end user, uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that the consultant who will be providing the services for the certification would work on a daily basis. They will submit to us a plan of um, auditing. Uh, it would depend on how they will approach uh, the auditing of FSIS uh, servicer, uh, not necessarily the entire uh, three-year on a day-to-day -day, uh, -day basis. But let's see, for example, sir, the first stage audit, uh, they would, yes, uh, we have the timeline for this uh, set of activities as defined in our billing documents. But. Uh, we would like to invite questions from our online prospective bidders. But if you have any, please do raise your questions or clarifications. All right, good morning, everyone. BS Egan. Uh, so your first question would be uh, with regards to the 10 years good track of record. So uh, BSI, BSI in the Philippines has been operating for six years already. But globally, po, we are already more than 100 years. Po. So is that 10 years good track of record referring to the local certifying body or counted po ang global office namin? Ma'am, uh, only for your company. Does not include the mother company or the international company that you are affiliated with. Mm -hmm. All right, sir. Um, since yun nga po, six, six years pa lang po kami operate, operating in the Philippines, it doesn't mean that uh, six years pa lang din po yung aming certified clients. There are certified clients already in the Philippines but not under the BSI Philippines before. So it was handed over already when the BSI office in the Philippines was already established po. So counted po ba yun, sir? Or no? Ma'am, when did uh, your company, the company you are affiliated with, uh, incorporated po? Incorporated, yes. When did it uh, incorporate, ma'am? In the Philippines po. Uh, it's operated 2018. Started 2018. Opo, so since 2018 ang bilang natin, ma'am. Alright, copy po. So in that case po, I think PSI can no longer participate in the reading po. Uh, Ma'am, if uh, you're saying that uh, you want to join, uh, I'm not uh, putting words into your mouth, no. but if you want to join and you want us to reconsider at the very least that requirement, uh, you can maybe write us a letter so we can decide on it. No? All right, sir. Copy po. Thank uh, you very much. Uh, our email is back. That's uh, B-A-C at kaap.gov.ph so you may email to us your letter asking for reconsideration regarding this requirement so we may rule upon it and uh, we will send you our reply as soon as time possible got this sir thank you very much Okay. Ma'am, do you have other questions since kayo lang naman po ang prospective bidder namin, I think, online? Okay, sir. So, I think I have another question po. With what? regards to your accredited, um, re referred, I mean, sorry, preferred accreditation body, which is the Philippine Accreditation Bureau or the PAB, um, BSI is offering 9,001 certification only under a ANAB, ENAB, or and UCAS. So these are also IF accredited uh, accreditation bodies. Po. 
The difference is that the PA beat is just the local we have po, but the ENAB and UCAS are all um, international accredited IAF po. So would you consider also other accreditation body or we will stick po sa PAB? Uh, Ma'am, we'll try to look into it and for consideration also. Okay, sir. Got this po. Ma'am, you can also include that in your letter, mm -hmm. in your request for uh, consideration if uh, that's your pleasure po. No, dead, sir. Thank you very much. Actually, that's all, Pop, my questions. Okay, ma'am. If you have other questions, po, or clarifications, recommendations, or requests, you may write us a letter. Uh, the soonest time possible, po, sana, so the committee can uh, consider it. Baksek, may I know kung kailan ang opening, ang stated opening ng bid? Uh, in any case, ma'am, I think that's posted naman yung date ng opening. But we would appreciate uh, to if, if ma'am, if you are going to send a letter to us as soon as time possible. Will do, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, if there are no more questions, clarifications, uh, that concludes, I, I, uh, I guess that concludes the previous conference of this project.